In the craft brewing movement, the IPAs are the sort of the, the, the beers that get the most press. The hoppier beers get um, a huge amount of press, and it, there seems to be a, a rush towards um, an escalation of more and more and more hoppy beers. What we're looking for is a beer which is something you're going to be able to drink several of over the course of an evening. Berkeley was a, an opportunity for us to come to a part of the country that is um, very focused on beer. The people here really love dining and they love drinking. They're very knowledgeable beer consumers and just in general they enjoy beer. This is one of the areas where craft brewing started in you know, 30, 40 years ago when craft brewing started in, in the U.S. Pilsner as a style is the most popular style worldwide. It just isn't the glory hog in the, in the craft brew movement. So I, but on the other hand, you see much more attention coming these days uh, to lager beers in general and, and Pilsners specifically. Making a Pils is really not much different than brewing any other kind of beer. So we brew according to the Reinheitsgebot. So we're brewing together, um, making our beer, our pilts, the exact same way our colleagues over in Salzburg, Austria do. It's a, a classic method where we're using only four ingredients, barley malt, hops, water, and yeast. So on the surface, a very simple process. 